Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Farda Saramwati from 3A class. My study number is 222-321-0091. In this video, I will explain about fake news in our today's social media. So, what is definition of fake news? Fake news are those news stories that are false. The story itself is fabricated with no variable facts, sources, or quote. Sometimes the story may be propaganda that is intentionally designed to mislead the reader, or may be designed as clickbait written for economic incentives. So this is a types of fake news. The first is clickbait. What is clickbait? There are clickbait is stories that are deliberately fabricated to gain more websites, visitors, and increase advertising revenue for websites. Clickbait stories use sensationalist headlines to grab attention and drive click through so the so the publisher website normally at the expense of jurors or a a cookery. The next one is propaganda. Propaganda is stories that are created to deliberately mislead audiences, promote a specific point of view or a particular political case or agenda. The next one is satire or parody. Lots of website and social media accounts publish fake news stories for entertainment and parody. For example, The Onion, Waterford Whisper, The Daily Mesh, and etc. Uh, the next one is sloppy journalism. Sometimes reporter or journalism may publish a story with unreliable information or without checking all the facts which can mislead audiences. For example, during the U.S. elections, fashion retailer Urban Outfitters published an election day guide. The guide contained in court information telling voters that they needed a voter registration card. This is not required by any state in the U.S. for voting. The next is misleading headings. Stories that are not completely false can be distorted using misleading or sensationalist headlines. These types of news can spread quickly on social media sites where only headlines and small uh, snippets of the full articles are displayed on audience news feeds. And then next is biased or slighted news. Many people are drawn to news or stories that confirm their own beliefs or biases and fake news can prey on these biases. Social media news feeds tend to display news and articles that they think we will like best on our personalized searches. And the next is impost imposter content. When genuine search are impersonated with false made up sources, this is dangerous as it relates to information with no factual basis being presented in the style of credible news source or article to make it look like legitimate source. And the last one is manipulated content. When real information or imagery is manipulated to devices, as with doctorate photos or video, this can be used to mislead people or create a false narrative about something or someone. Okay. Next slide is talk about consequences of fake news. The first one is uh, fake news can be distrust in the media. And the second one is undermining the democracy. And next is platforms for harmful conspiracy theories and hate speech. And the last one is spread of false or discredited sciences. So 
The last slide is talk about how to spot fake news. Anyone can fall for false information online. There are a number of things to watch out for when evaluating content online. The first is we must know that who is sharing the story. So check if the social media account sharing the post is verified. Most public figures and media outlets display blue bits or check marks, which means the account has been authenticated. This can mean the content of the post is more likely to a reliable account, not always. The second one is take a closer look. Check the search of the story. Do you recognize the website? Is it a credible or reliable search? If you are unfamiliar with the site, look in the about section or find out more information about the author. And the next is look beyond the headline. Check the entire article. Many fake news stories use censorship, sensationalist or shocking headlines to grab attention. Often, the headlines of fake news stories are in all caps and use exclamation point. Next is check other sources. Are other reputable news or media outlets reporting on the story? Are there any sources in the story? If so, check they are reliable or if they even exist. Okay, uh, next is check the facts. Stories with false information or fake news often contain incorrect dates or altered timelines. It is also a good idea to check when the article was published. Is it current or an old news story? Okay, and the next is check your biases. Are you on beliefs or beliefs affecting your judgment of your features of report? Okay, and the last is satirical sites are popular online and sometimes it is not always clear whether a story is just joke or parody. Check the website. It is known for satire or creating funny stories. Okay, maybe that's all for me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.